Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a new video of mine and I'm going to be honest with you guys I'm a little bit nervous at the moment because this is going to be an everyday makeup routine and I haven't done any tutorial videos any makeup tutorials for such a long time I am a little bit scared to do this because I'm a makeup artist I love makeup I get sent over a lot of makeup but I'm more about the review part and more about the product photography than actually being this I don't know, this bomb ass tutorial making person if you know what I mean but today I'm finally going to give you an updated everyday makeup routine so if you're excited for this and you want to give me a little bit of a good feeling about doing this please give this video a thumbs up I want to let you know that all the products mentioned with links are in the description box and on my blog as well so yeah, let's start okay guys, let's start with my everyday makeup routine I have nothing on my face right now I just washed it and I'm going to talk you through all the steps that I do and all the products that I use so I just tied up my hair so my fringe doesn't get in the way and the first product that I'm going to use is this beauty flash balm from Clara or Clarins and this is a very interesting product because it's actually skincare, primer and a face mask in one. So this product is great for everybody that doesn't want to use a lot of products or if you're traveling a lot because one product with three properties is awesome. So I'm just going to put an even layer all over my skin. And for people that are wondering, I have a combination skin with oily and dry patches so yeah it kind of sucks because it's very hard to find products that are not too drying and also not too oily for my skin and now I'm going to use foundation I'm going to mix two foundations I've been loving the NYX Total Control foundation it's a drop foundation and I just released it I actually went to their uh, release party and it was very cool I'll link the vlog down below and I also love the Rimmel Match Perfection and unfortunately this one is a little bit too light for me because I'm now self tanning so I'm using this one as well to mix it but I like the texture of this one better so I actually just need to get a different color and I'm going to use the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion sponge to apply it so as you can see it's a little bit too light for me right now so I'm mixing a little bit of this foundation and I look ridiculous right now I really like the texture of these two foundations because they look very natural on my skin and I want a foundation that has a very natural finish so not too matte and also not um, too oily so for concealer I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof um, pretty cool that this is actually a waterproof concealer and this one is very light so for all my light skin girls try this and I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes as you can see it's super light and I'm going to blend it out again with my Real Technique sponge So this is my foundation and concealer done and I feel like it's still a little bit too light. I think it's okay but it could have been a little bit darker so I'm definitely going to add a little bit of bronzer later. So now I'm going to contour my face using the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in Fair. This is the lightest palette that they have and it looks like this. As you can see I always use this one but recently I've been using this one because I'm almost finished. Um, so yeah. I'm going to make a little bit of a mixture between the two and I'm actually going to apply it with my hands because I feel like it gives the most natural finish. So what I do is that I make the weird kind of fishy kissy face, I don't know, and just apply it on the hollows of my cheeks. And I rub it in with my finger. And I don't know, it's so easy and so effortless and literally I haven't found any brush that could give this same effect as my fingers so yeah now the contouring is done and I'm going to use a little bit of loose powder underneath my eyes to set the concealer that I used 
and I'm just going to apply it with a kabuki brush from uh, the body shop. So I'm also going to use some face powder with a little bit of color because I want my foundation to be a little bit darker and I'm going to use the Positions formula. It's a glowing nude powder in Nude West and I mean look at this packaging, how cute is this right? I got it when I went to New York and it was definitely one of my favorite makeup buys because it's rose gold and it's super cute but it's actually also a very good product. As you can see it has four colors and especially the orange one is great to kind of darken up your foundation if it doesn't match your neck. I'm using this Aweifa powder brush in 106 to apply it and I'm not doing anything in particular. Next up I'm going to use some bronzer and I am going to use the Benefit Hula Light. This is actually their new bronzer. I think everybody and their mother knows the Hula bronzer from Benefit. But I didn't really like it because it was a little bit too dark for me and too orangey. But this shade is perfect for my light complexion. Looks like this. Very nice golden color. <laughs> and I'm actually going to use the brush that comes with it because uh, surprisingly it's actually very nice. So I'm going to use this to warm up my face even more and to also set the contour that I just did. Uh, I always like to use a cream product and then set it with a powder product as well. And now that we're getting into the summer months and spring and that kind of stuff, I also like to use a lot of bronzer and that kind of stuff. And now I'm going to add some blush and again I'm going to use the box blush from Benefit and this is the Coralista. I had this blush for a very long time as you can see I also hit pan on it but I love it. It's a very nice peachy shade. Again I'm going to use the brush that comes with it and just apply it on my cheekbones and more focusing on uh, the outer part of my cheekbone and on the apple. I don't really like that look. And I feel like this color blends in perfectly with the bronzing that we just did. So now onto my favorite product, which is highlighter. And I've been using the Balm Mary Luminizer. Although this is an everyday makeup routine, it's also kind of my favorite product kind of video. Because all the products that I'm showing you are things that I use on a daily basis, which I recommend. Some of them I bought myself, some of them are gifted, but they're all great. So I'm going to use the Real Techniques uh, setting brush, I think. It's a setting brush, but I like to use it as my highlighter brush because... I like that kind of popping highlighter that's not too natural and this brush definitely gives that effect. If you want a little bit more of a natural finish, you can go for a stippling brush. So I'm just applying it on my cheekbones and also here around my brow bone. Then a little bit on my nose to make it a little bit more around. And on the bridge of my nose to make it thinner and on my cupid's bow because it makes your lips look bigger and I also think it looks very pretty. So that's the face makeup done and now it's time for the brows. So for my brows I'm going to use the Brow Wiz from Anastasia in the color medium brown. And this pulley is the best pulley that I've ever tried. I know it's kind of weird to be raving about this pulley but it's great. I promise you. So I'm always brushing my hairs up because this way you get more of a messy brow look instead of those very drawn on brows if you know what I mean. So what I'm doing is first aligning my brows on the bottom and this is very important to make them even and I'm also elongating them a little bit and then I'm going to line them above. I also feel like I'm doing an Instagram live session with you guys because I do a lot of Instagram lives whenever I'm doing my makeup because it's a very like practical time for me to talk to you and do my makeup at the same time. It's also very different for me to do a talk through and as a voiceover. I feel like, I don't know, I really need to get used to this stuff. So now I'm going to set my brows using the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills brow gel, clear brow gel. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion to uh, prime my lids. So I'm just applying it on my lids, no special technique. And then I'm blending it out with my finger. Now I'm going to use the Naked Basics 2. Really like this. Like the Naked Basics 1 and 2 are both great. 
I've always preferred the Naked Basics one more, but recently I've been using two. I'm going to use the Sueca brush in 227 Luxe Soft Definer, and I'm going to use the color Can Switch color. Yeah, I'm going to use this color, which is Stark. It's a very nice color because it's a light nudish brown with an orange undertone and kind of orangey tones are perfect if you have blue eyes because it makes them pop so I'm just applying this all over my lid and um, yeah kind of making it a little bit smoky like I like very light smoky eyes if you know what I mean so I'm going to use cover which is this color it also has a warm undertone and I'm just going to use it a little bit in my outer V but also like here on my upper lash line now I'm going to grab a separate brush this is the brush from the Urban Decay Naked I have all the Naked palettes except for the um, Smoky yeah I don't have that one unfortunately and also the Ultimate now I'm going to grab the color Skimp which is a highlighter color and I'm going to use this side of the brush and apply it underneath my brow bone I like to use a very natural um, highlighter underneath my brows and then go for a brighter highlighter on my inner corner for that I'm going to use the self-made Inglot palette as you can see I have a random orange uh, eyeshadow on it because it's magnetic and I don't want to lose it um, so inside I have these colors and I'm going to use this highlighter shade and honestly guys this is the best eyeshadow highlighter I've ever tried I'm not really following a certain shape or something I'm just doing this a little bit above my eye and underneath my eye like this and so now I'm going to use a super cool product this is the Clarence um, four color all-in-one pen and this looks like one of those pens you used as a child with the different colors because it's the same concept so it has four different pens in one pen it has blue blue eyeliner it has brown eyeliner which I'm going to use it has black eyeliner and it has a nude lip liner super handy to uh, take with you so as I said before I'm going to use the brown eyeliner you can just twist it up like this I'm going to line my eyes and then I'm going to smoke it out with a shader brush and I'm making a very little kind of messy wing as well so it looks like this I think brown looks very nice on blue eyes as well now it's time for the fun part I'm going to smoke this out as well using the MAC 228 and this is super easy just go over it and wait for it to smoke out that's kind of it to be honest it's a very easy technique I'm going to use the Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara in black brown and this is a very nice mascara and I love the fact that it's in a black brown shade I think this ties in the look completely I would also love to wear false lashes that are brown but, but unfortunately I only like to wear Ardell Demi Wispies and I'm going to show you in a bit they're only available in black so that kind of sucks because I would love to wear uh, brown lashes as well so I'm pretty blessed with my lashes to be honest So now my mascara is done and before I'm going to apply false lashes, I'm first going to apply my lip product so my lashes can dry a little bit. My favorite lip combo recently has been MAC Strip Down Lip Liner with the NYX Lip Lingerie in the color um, Satin Ribbon. So these two are perfect together. I also really like the texture of NYX Lip Lingeries. It's very nice and it stays on all day. So I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are the only false lashes that I use because I feel like they look very kind of 
Like, I feel like these lashes are extra, but not too extra, and they still are relatively natural, and I just love how they look on my eyes. To apply them, I'm using this lash applicator from Catrice. This is perfect if you want to apply your lashes super quickly. And then I'm using the Duo uh, Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins uh, as my lash glue. And yeah, there's actually nothing to it. See? It's so quick and easy. Honestly, applying lashes is way faster than applying mascara in my opinion. So now my lashes are on and I have still one step which is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Makeup Setting Spray. I like to use this to make everything look very natural and blend it in and just like my skin instead of makeup. And it's also very nice, especially when it's hot outside. Okay. Makeup, and this is the look I've been rocking recently and I'm definitely going to rock for a while now because I really like how this looks also let me know in the comments down below what you think of this look I would love to know and yeah just I don't know just tell me what you thought of this video and if you like my voice over makeup tutorials more or these kind of chatty makeup tutorials and don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course only if you want to so yeah I don't have anything else to say have a fucking amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I hope you're all doing well, and welcome to a new video of mine. Okay, let me tell you, 